In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix RTX grayed out in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Now, if you see that RTX is grayed out, that could be due to multiple different reasons. And the first thing that you guys always want to do is you want to download the most recent and up-to-date RTX shaders. Now, unfortunately, with this brand new update of Minecraft, it actually makes old RTX shaders no longer work. So you will need to go ahead and install new ones, ones that came out recently. So if there's like an RTX shader that you've been using for a while, chances are it probably got out outdated so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and install fresh new rtx shaders if you guys go to the link in the description down below and in the pinned comments you guys could find this page right over here and it will give you the downloads to the vanilla rtx norms which is basically like one of the most popular rtx texture packs out there so you guys can go ahead and download over here and this is actually up to date to work on minecraft 1.21.9 so again you will need the most up-to-date rtx shaders like shaders that were made like two years ago for example are not going to work on this brand new update and i'm not gonna lie guys they made rtx way more difficult to use in the brand new update of minecraft so what's kind of weird about this update is you can't enable rtx in the main home screen like so so like let's say for example we wanted to go ahead and press on settings then we press on video then we go ahead and change graphics mode to ray trace. Yeah, you will notice that it is actually grayed out, even though we have an RTX texture pack that is up to date and that will work for Minecraft 1.21.9. So what you guys need to do is you need to make sure that this option that says allow in-game graphics mode switching is actually turned on. So you are only able to turn on RTX once you're inside a Minecraft world or like a server. You can't do it in the main menu. So you first need to enter a Minecraft world. Then you guys can go ahead and switch the graphics mode to ray trace. So in order to do that, you will need to have this turned on, allow in-game graphics mode switching. And once you're done with that, go ahead and it just try to load into any Minecraft world or anything else really. It could even be on a server or a realm. This will work regardless. So look at this, guys. We are now using our texture pack as a global resource. That's another thing, guys. RTX needs to be a global resource. It shouldn't be a local resource or exclusive to one world. Otherwise, that may cause some issues. So whenever you are trying to use an RTX shader, please make sure you activate that shader as a global resource. Okay, so here we are in a Minecraft world, and now let's actually turn it on. So let's go ahead and press on settings, go over here to where it says video, and now if we go ahead and take a look at graphics mode, you will now notice that you will get this option over here that says ray trace. So all you want to do is you want to go ahead and just press on that, then return it back to your Minecraft game, and as you're able to tell, it is actually working. And unfortunately, it is incredibly laggy. I apologize, guys. I know my PC is getting very old and outdated, so make sure to leave a like and subscribe so I can get a new PC.